Heart rate 130, BP 90 over 60, you gave him 500 cc's, normal saline. Hi, Mr. Spencer, I'm Dr. King, this is Dr. Collins. How are you feeling today? Core Sankai here. Right middle lobe infiltrate. Probably not the most exciting patient we've seen so far, but this is definitely the most realistic. So we have an elderly gentleman with a background of Alzheimer's from assisted living who has a fever, low blood pressure and a fast heart rate, and they find he has a right middle lobe pneumonia, so they're treating for sepsis. I found sepsis to be poorly understood by the general public who often think it's an infection in your blood. While certainly an infection in your blood can cause sepsis, sepsis is an infection anywhere in your body, but the immune response from that area travels around the body and causes your blood vessels to dilate and become more leaky. So it's a dysregulated immune response to infection, usually a serious infection, and this change in your blood vessels drops your blood pressure and leads to your other organs being starved of oxygen. That's why this gentleman here has low blood pressure and a fast heart rate. The heart rate is trying to keep up with that low blood pressure. And in the case of the infection, it's coming from a pneumonia, so an infection in the air sacs of the lung. And yet there is a bundle of things that you need to do as a doctor that has shown to improve outcomes. So we do a blood test and monitor the urine output, and that's to keep an eye on that organ damage. We give fluids and consider oxygen to try and maintain perfusion to the organs a blood culture sent away to try and identify the infection. And while we wait for that, we start antibiotics immediately on what we think is most likely the bacteria given the location of the infection. So you now know everything there is to know about sepsis. And this is just a patient you'll see multiple times a day in A&Es up and down the country.